Joining me now is Michael Crawford, one of the uh, many participants in the program tonight, my favorite Broadway, The Love Songs. Welcome, Michael. Thank you, Mitch. Um, tell us a little bit about the song or the songs that you're singing tonight and how you came to be associated with the show. Well, I, I was invited about uh, two or three months ago. That, 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 that was, this show was being put together, Broadway uh, love songs, and, and uh, so I was invited to come along and sing Music of the Night, which I was delighted to um, accept. Uh, Julie Andrews was going to be hosting the show, so it was a thrill to see her again. And, uh, and then, then uh, 48 hours before the show, I, was in, I arrived in New York, completely relaxed, ready. I'd been running through Music of the Night, so I was ready to do it. It's uh, one you've done a few times It's before. one I've done a few times before, <laughs> yes, and I'm quite familiar with right. it. But it's still nerve-wracking every time you sing it. But to then, suddenly I get a phone call saying that someone who was going to be doing a piece with Julie was, had been taken ill at the last minute, and would I mind uh, doing this number with Julie? And I, said, I, I actually, my breath left me, and uh, I, it was, I could feel this pounding. But something inside me, because I don't think, it was my agent who called me, I don't think he expected me to say yes, because he knows how I need three years' rehearsal to, to do anything. <laughs> and, and he didn't expect me to say yes, and I actually said yes immediately. Scared yourself. Yes, I scared. Then I started to get even more scared because I thought, well, what have I said yes to? What have I got to do? He said, oh, it's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's just they're doing my fair lady. I said, what? <laughs> my fair lady? I've got to do this. So I, 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 I said, how much of it? And so I, I had to do, I have to do a little of, uh, I've grown accustomed to her face. And a, a little of um, the rain in Spain and a little movement as well. So the movement was scaring me, uh, and then the song was scaring me. So it, it was, I'd, for 48 hours I didn't sleep. I met Julie the next day, who, who was excited, seemed to be excited that I was doing it, uh, and we practiced, and then we both had to learn this dance very quickly and, and, and went to our respective hotels, and, and Apparently, we both danced in bed all night to try to <laughs> remember the steps. So I do hope, for the viewers' sake, that uh, we... Um, well, I'm, sh I'm sure Julie will um, be looking just splendid. And I I'm hope sure that, you uh, will, too. <laughs> Is this a role... You, obviously, you've never done this role before. No. Higgins. no Is I it haven't. one you're interested in doing someday? Well, it's something... It's a role that I've always been in awe of, the original cast. It's like thinking of doing The King and I or Singing in the Rain, My Fair Lady, to me there have only been those original wonderful stars, Yul Brenner in The King and I and Gene Kelly in Singing in the Rain and, and Rex of course Harrison. Rex Harrison in My Fair Lady. So I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm rather overawed by, by their performances to think of myself as, as, uh, as capable of... Um, Satisfying the public, with and this my could possibly be your first time performing with Julie Andrews. It is, yes. We, we, it is the first time I've performed with Julie. We spoke a few years back about doing a special together, and um, for one reason or another, our, our, our schedules or our schedules <laughs> didn't uh, come together, so we weren't able to do it. But uh, the, the, so, for me, it's certainly a, a dream come true. Well, I think it's probably a dream come true for a lot of people watching. So uh, thank you for doing it. Thank you for agreeing to take a chance. Um, what appeals to you about the world of musical theater, about being on stage? What makes it special? Well, we have what we call the, the Zitz Probe, where, where we all come together, the, all the artists in the show come together, the dancers, the choreographers, the creators. We all cram into this rehearsal room, which is usually a, um, a, not an over-large room. And we, we sit round, and the orchestra take their places. And for the first time, we hear our music played by a 50, 60-piece orchestra. And it is so exciting. And you're 
your heart starts to pound and you look round and you're in a room with your with your fellow actors and actresses your fellow artists that that are superb performers on broadway all leading people and you're part of that there's an incredible sort of nostalgia about it um and and so when they did play the overture for my fair lady i julie there were tears in her eyes and it was very touching when they played the opening bars to music of the night for me a phantom there i never ceased to, to have tears in my eyes and I would think most artists feel the same way about their shows, that they've, they've, they've played them with such pride, they've played them on Broadway. And then to have the opportunity to put them uh, on this occasion on public television, uh, which again is rare, we're not given these opportunities, and that's the great thing about public television, that they do come in and say, let's record this. And you'll see people that Otherwise, you might never have seen their performances if you live many, many hundreds and thousands of miles away from Broadway. You, are, you, you may never be able to see those performances. And tonight, you'll see some of those great performances that, that have existed, and some exist at the moment. Some are playing at this very moment on Broadway. So it's a, it, it's a thrill for us, and I hope it'll be equally as a thrill for you all. Well, and of course, since you mentioned public television, and you mentioned so many good reasons for people to support what it is that we do, uh, could you possibly give the folks some words of encouragement, um, something to make them get out of their seats, go to the phone and pledge their support? Well, for me, public television, uh, in back home in the UK, we have the BBC, who are very generous with their support of the arts. Um, over here, I think networks work in a way which are, they're big corporations, and so therefore they're looking for vast viewing figures. And for the specialized audience, which I think we are, um, we're a very discerning audience. And over here, we don't have the benefit of the freedom of the BBC. Um, unfortunately, we have to contribute to um, to receive those programs, but uh, for me, and I contribute, it's worth every penny I pay because I get to see things that are both beautiful and obtainable, which would otherwise be unobtainable to me as a viewer. Um, and, and such great performances I've seen, which otherwise would have been forgotten or lost. So I thank you, Public Television, and I hope you out there as viewers will thank Public Television as well by contributing. Yes, and we thank you, Michael Crawford. Thank you, Major.